Welcome back, Love Tribe. It's Tracy with TR's Tarot Talk 1111. Um, I'm here with my new setup. I hope you enjoy it. Um, it's a tr trial, I guess you want to say. Um, I don't know how well the lighting will be in here once winter comes, but for now, um, my middle child is here staying with me, and uh, this gives me more privacy in him, too. He's only staying a couple of days, but I wanted to get work done, so I set up this area in here. I hope you like it. If you don't, uh, let me know, because I will go back to the table when he moves back in with his dad. <laughs> All right, so enough of me. Let's talk about happy birthday, Libra. Happy birthday. Yes, it is Libra season officially. We're also in Mercury retrograde, so fingers crossed that the videos uh, don't have any glitches or whatever, right? Fingers crossed all comes crossed well, and uh, that my tongue doesn't get too tied up. So happy birthday, Libra. I am doing your sign first. This is for the zodiac sign of Libra, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, all cross watchers. Uh, keep in mind, if you're cross watching, it could possibly be your message more than a message about them. Spirit has this uncanny way of knowing who's watching. So um, the only announcement I have is Patreon is up and running. And if you resonate with um, my readings, I do extended versions once a month of all 12 Zodiacs. I start them off over here, and then I continue them over in Patreon. It only costs $4.44 a month. Plus, you get two extra readings a week uh, most of the time. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. Sometimes you get more. Sometimes you might only get one. Uh, but I spoil you, so uh, I don't think you'll want for content. Okay, uh, so if you're interested, and if you're a twin flame, I have a tier that's at 1111. It's a sacred number. Um, and... Uh, join us over in Patreon at the 1111 or the 2222, and you will uh, get content like um, workshops. Right now I'm teaching how to read tarot like TR, and uh, in the future there will be different types of workshops that I teach in those levels. Plus, uh, I am a twin flame. I know a lot of my viewers are twin flames, and so this is an opportunity for me to create a community where we can just concentrate on ascension and our spiritual path and journey and our twin flame path and journey. So if you're interested, everything you need is in the description box below. If you'd like to book your own personal private reading, you can also check out the description box below. And if you would like to make a good karma donation uh, for the channel to keep our content up and running, that is also available down in the description box below. So now I'm going to bring you down to your reading because you don't want to look at me. I've been kind of... <clears throat> I've been kind of battling my asthma <laughs> and allergies. So, all right. You'll hear me slurp my coffee once in a while. Look at all of these oracles I picked out for you. So we're going to read the oracles first. I'm going to lay them out. Oh, we've got a little bug in here flying right in front of the camera. And then we're going to take a look at, because this is for love, romance, and your spiritual journey, right? Whatever comes out for some of you, if you're in a relationship, um, then it will probably talk about relationships. And for others of you, this could be your own personal journey uh, back to a relationship, a true loving internal relationship with yourself and source, okay? So take it as it resonates, but I am focusing my attention on, on a high-level soulmates, love, relationship, spirituality, that kind of thing. All right, Libra. For the month of October, we have Surrender to the Divine. We also, ooh, we also have, speaking of romance, 
We also have a new romantic cycle begins. <clears throat> Ooh, we have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. And celebration. Holy crap. Libra, I want to, it's usually, happy birthday. We have celebration. Get ready to let your hair down and celebrate. It's time to go out to dance and play. An invitation could be on its way. True love. Are you kidding me, guys? I did not candy pick these, I swear. If I did, it would be for the sign of cancer. <laughs> but I didn't. Wow, this is pretty cool great. So you guys will have to let me know in the comment section if, you know, you meet somebody new or if the person that you've been kind of working at coming into union with, if you hear news, if you go out for your date, surrender to the divine. That tells me that you need to be in flow state, right? I do have two more cards here. Let me get this. I'm going to save this one for last. It's kind of a uh, like a affirmation. Your last one is breathe. So these two, I was just told by spirit to finish before I started talking. So surrender to the divine and breathe. If you have been in resistance, if you've been angry or resentful or just impatient, I'm feeling impatient for some of you. Then surrendering, breathing. By the way, breathe is a number 29, which breaks down to an 11, which is a master number. And I started your video this morning at 1010. I noticed when I hit the record button. So, uh, the number 11 or the numbers 1010 might resonate with you. But what I see here is if you just remove the resistance. Now, what does resistance look like? It can look like impatience, um, feeling angry or resentful or put off not trusting. Yeah, you need to be in flow state in the month of October if you want this beautiful, beautiful energy to come in. So spirit saying, take a breath, surrender, allow, right? Whatever is meant to be for you will never miss you. Allow the lead. I always say allow the the arrival and allow the leaving. Sometimes things have to leave for other things to arrive, right? So that's the ebb and flow of spirit. So breathe, surrender to the divine, and that's what's going to call in this opportunity. Boy, huge opportunity. A new romantic cycle begins. There's a strong magnetic attraction because the two of you are literally, when you get in this flow state, that removes all resistance. And then the magnetic uh, quality of the attraction brings the two of you closer together. With the celebration, it says, get ready to let your hair down and celebrate. It's time to go out and dance and play. An invitation could be on the way, right? N new romantic cycle. And then true love. This is emotional, physical, and unconditional. Breathe. Don't forget to breathe. So if this is someone new for you, I have a feeling when you meet them, they're going to kind of energetically knock you wonky, right? It's like that shaky hands, trembling voice, weak in the knees type energy. Sometimes, you know, that isn't all about just romance. That's about energy. It's about your chakras all aligning and coming together and merging with someone that your soul recognizes as your true love, as your divine counterpart, right? Now, for those of you that, that you know, October doesn't bring you a new person or bring you the person that you've been ta or talking and wanting about, 
Um, then of course, you know, we always have true love for the divine, surrender to the divine so that a new romantic cycle can begin. Romantic is, is that unconditional love, that feeling of um, elation and uni union, unity, right? Chemistry. A lot of us are working on our inner yin and yang, our inner masculine and feminine to come into union with source, with self at the source level. So I would like to say no matter how this comes out, whether it's external in your 3D world or internal in your 5D world, um, this is a blessing, a huge blessing coming your way in the month of October. All right, so spirit, first of all, I would like to take a look at those who are completely single, show me some information. What do I need to know about this meeting? Or for those who are completely single, who have nobody, just give me three cards. Oh, there's one. I don't know if I put those in. Upside down. Uh, okay, Spirit said take them. Nope, not that one. Bottom of the deck. Okay, for those of you who are completely single, this is somebody that you've been manifesting, and possibly they've been manifesting you with this chemistry card here, right? This is the chemist, the magician. Now, that doesn't mean they know who you are. They might know who you are. You might know who they are. Because we do have on the bottom of the deck as a mutual energy, the three of cups, which could be somebody in your friend circle. All right. But they're showing up as the knight of pentacles with the lovers and the page of swords. So this is somebody, I believe, that's been watching you in some way, shape, or form, whether they work with you or maybe you do like I do, you do videos online or you've got a presence on some kind of social media. Um, <clears throat> but the lovers is the choice card for me. It's a choice to move toward something that you really want to ground and make a committed effort to, right? But this guy isn't even on his horse, guys. He's literally walking, okay? But he is just filled with intention. So if you're completely single and you meet somebody, it feels to me like the chemistry is going to be off the chart. You might go on a date. But it does feel like you might want to learn something about this person and take your time or vice versa. Because the page of swords for me is somebody who wants to communicate, but it's very new, right? New, it's young. And it's also somebody who likes to know things, right? likes to have clarity, likes to do their research. So this person, if this is your person that you meet energy, I have a feeling like the attraction is going to be off the charts. But the relationship is going to take its time. Okay, whether this is you or, or them, somebody here really likes to get to know somebody slowly before they amp it up into this lover's energy. So if you're single, I do believe this could be somebody in your friend circle or somebody you'll meet through friends. This could be somebody you meet while you're out on a uh, girl's date or a friend date or a guy's date, going out for drinks, maybe going to listen to a band uh, some kind of public where there are people around celebrating. And that's how you're going to meet. 
So tell me for the singles, what is your advice for singles when they meet this person? So we've got two personalities here. Again, we've got somebody that's taking on the energy of the Queen of Swords, guarded, somebody who is logical, smart, maybe has had their heart broken in the past because I do notice that their cup of love is down here in this little uh, caged in portion of the card, right? This is somebody who's <laughs> recognize. This is someone who recognizes the red flags or the caution flags, right? They're looking for somebody that is honest, communicative, trustworthy. And birds for me is like um, telling me that community. So for me, birds are messengers. So this is communication. So you're going to have to choose who are you in this because we have the queen of wands. Now remember, gender does not matter in tarot. We're talking about energy. Each of the tarot courts, court cards have their own energetic signature. So if you are this queen of swords, you would be cautious. You would be maybe blunt, right? Not ornery. If she was in the reverse, it would be ornery. But she's just blunt. She knows what she wants. She's not taking crap from anybody. And she's guarded, right? She's not going to rush headlong into this beautiful chemistry lover's energy. She's going to take her time to get to know somebody and move things along very slowly. So this Queen of Swords is this Knight of Pentacles and Page of Swords, I believe. This Queen of Wands, on the other hand, is more into this fire energy with the chemistry. the lovers and the queen of wands. This is very fiery energy. So one of you is going to be very, very magnetic, confident, probably done a lot of their inner healing, knows what they want. They're a go-getter, possibly a fire sign, but you know, that doesn't always play out. So I feel this queen of swords has experienced this five of cups. That is loss, regret. Sometimes it was previous codependency, right? Like they had a void inside of them that they were constantly trying to fill. And I think that They've learned. They've learned how to fill their own cup, right? Ace of Cups. Because bottom of the deck is the Three of Swords, the Justice. So I feel whoever you choose that you are, I do feel both of you have probably experience this because like attracts like. And when the magician is involved, that's what we're doing. We're manifesting. We don't manifest what we want. We manifest what we vibrationally align with. So probably both of you have experienced this loss, this, this void in your life. But I see one that has done healing in a much more organic fiery way, and one who has done it in a much more guarded, reserved, protective way. 
but you balance each other out. And look, it is Libra, right? We are talking Libra. You're showing up in your own reading. So this is how you'll recognize each other, okay? You're going to have to put yourself in whatever place you are. But in the month of October, things are going to move slow, probably because the Queen of Swords here saying, slow your roll. I want to take time to get to know you. I don't want to rush into anything. I'm still working on self-love. I've been hurt. I deserve better. And this Queen of Wands, how is this Queen of Wands going to respond to this for my singles? Death and rebirth. Two more, please, for the Queen of Wands energy in this. Thank you. Ooh, the world. And the Ten of Swords. So this Queen of Wands has walked away from everything or everybody that didn't serve her her highest and best joy and happiness. This Queen of Wands has done a more complete healing, I think, than the Queen of Swords. Because she went through, or he, they, because remember, gender don't matter. They went through this huge death and rebirth process, thereby ending all these old karmic contracts, right? By walking away. And so they've cleared their energetic field, and now they're calling in true love. And I do believe that when you meet, they're going to feel like you could be that for them. So I'm going to pick these back up because I want to use these cards to see what the outcome is for the singles. <clears throat> What will the outcome be for my singles? Potential outcome in the month. Or what's the potential of this romance? What is the potential? One more, please. Of this love and romance. What is the potential, please? There it is. I want to move these around. I want to look at the bottom of the deck. Okay. All right. So I like it. So um, I believe this is going to trigger whomever is in the Queen of Swords energy. This is going to be a bit of a trigger for them. Because I feel like, like your person moves too fast. Or their person, if this is you, you know, like I said. You're one or the other. You're the Queen of Wands or the Queen of Swords. But we've got the Knight of Swords. Somebody, so with two Knights, the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords, we've got a bit of a conflict going on here. And what this is going to do is it's going to trigger some abandonment wounds. And there's going to need to be a bit of a break. Because the Four of Swords is somebody taking a step back, right? But we've got the Magician again. And the bottom of the deck energy is the King of Pentacles. Yeah, and a lot of Pentacles. A lot of Pentacles. So we got the King of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, the High Priestess, the Ace of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles. Right? So... I feel what's going to happen is whoever the Queen of Swords is, is going to slow this roll way down. They're going to say, listen, I need time to process because I'm not looking for a Knight of Swords. I'm looking for a King of Pentacles. guarded 
but very intuitive, right? I, again, I, I do believe that this is going someplace very good. And I believe your person understands with the high priestess, understands why you're guarded. So they're going to offer you, you know, this page, this pentacle, and they're going to build trust with you. That's what I think. So take it as it resonates. I do believe you're going to meet somebody who understands you, who's been there, who um, is a little further on their journey. They might trigger you. In, and I keep saying you. So apparently Spirit thinks uh, some of you I'm talking to is this Queen of Swords. But I don't want to sew you into that if you feel like you're more action oriented if you're the one jumping in feet first then you know obviously you're going to take that role uh or that energy so okay libras that are single it looks really good for you it looks like you're going to need somebody is going to need to take their time and the other person i think is going to understand that and they're going to allow that um despite the fact that they kind of feel like they're ready all right so um, I'm going to turn over the advice card. This is going to pertain to those who have someone on their heart and mind too. So we have resourcefulness. Everything you need is already within you. Don't doubt it, my love. Love, You are more capable, more equipped, more looked after than you can ever imagine. What would you do today, right now, in this very moment, if you knew you could only succeed? There is no such thing as failure, dear one. You can only grow, you can only redirect, so forget about failure and ask yourself instead, how can you appreciate even more? All right, so I just got a very clear message, which kind of throws a wrench in my intention for this reading. Uh, I had set my intentions to do singles and um, those who have someone on their heart and mind. But Spirit just clearly told me I don't need to do that, that they are already embodying both in the reading. So I wasn't expecting that. But I'm clear audience, and I, I heard that I don't need to throw more cards because it doesn't matter whether you're completely single with absolutely nobody on your radar or if you are quantumly entangled with somebody. I just need to tell the story from a different angle without tossing new cards. So if you have somebody on your heart and mind, somebody you've been missing with that five of cups, somebody you've been magnetically, maybe even telepathically, energetically, quantumly entangled with and calling in this true love, then it looks to me like you could possibly either get an invitation, communication, um, to, to come together for a date, three of cups, celebration. Um, or you could just be out with friends in some kind of a social setting, social celebration, and you might run into this person. But the very clear message for the month of October is one person is definitely more elevated and healed than the other. And my guess is it would be the viewer because in that situation, um, because you're the one watching tarot readings, right? Now, not necessarily, so don't sew yourself into that pocket. Um, but what I feel in the month of October for Libras is this beautiful coming together of two people that understand one another in a way that is deeply profound. Uh, the one that's, that's ready and amped up and full of fire is absolutely going to slow down and take their time because they understand where the Queen of Swords is coming from. Because my guess is that was a cycle that they recently were through themselves with the death and rebirth and the world, 
right? Ending cycles, ten of swords, walking away from from a lot of old belief systems and healing a lot of wounds and death and transformation. That's like the end of everything that you used to be, thereby creating something totally new and and better. And so I see two people with this magician energy and this chemistry card. And I had the magician twice. And so you are going to call in this true love. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. So surrender to the divine, breathe. Allow the attraction, the magnetic, the magnetism, okay? When one chases, the other will run. When there's true chemistry, nobody needs to chase and nobody needs to run because we attract, right? It's like a magnet. You don't have to go anywhere. You just slowly come together through the attraction. So that took a turn on me. I'm going to be honest. So I want to get you one of these love cards and then I'm going to move this over to the extended which is going to be totally different I guess you get two because I usually leave them on the table so spirit wants to do things differently this month and who am I to question spirit right <clears throat> so we have passion a magnetic there it is again magnetic and seductive qualities surround you at present enjoy it that's that queen of wands she's the magnet if you resonate with being the queen of wands if you resonate with being the one that's already gone through the death and rebirth cycle and now you are not chasing any longer you are allowing you're breathing you're surrendering to the divine this is your resource right? Everything you need is already within you. You don't have to chase it. You don't have to doubt it. You're more capable, more equipped, more looked after than you can ever imagine. What would you do today, right now, in this very moment, if you knew you could only succeed? There is no such thing as failure. You can only grow. You can only redirect. So forget about failure. Ask yourself instead, how can you appreciate even more the resourceful being that you are, Queen of Wands energy, right? A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. Allow it, right? If you're completely single, when you're out there, walk with the knowing that you are attracting and you will attract this true love, this new romantic cycle. And a romantic cycle, right? The Queen of Wands has just ended a cycle. And so is now attracting a new cycle. Just know that the other person or you, depending on where you fall in this category, um, is still guarded, is still learning, is still hurt, is still processing. So you are magnetically attracting your divine counterpart, but you might need to go slow take a breath, be in a sense of surrender because they're still a little guarded and they need to know that they're safe. Pentacles, 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 right? Page of pentacles, knight of pentacles, king of pentacles. This person needs someone who's reliable, who's steady, who's secure. So we have a message for you. It says, I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. So, like I said, I do believe for even those of you that are single, this could be somebody you already know. And if you don't meet somebody in the month of October, then I believe 100% that you are going through a death and transformation that is going to help you heal to become this queen of wands to open up the doorway of potential for your future. When you find the first union, which is union with source energy, with you, with your own 
beingness, with loving you unconditionally, knowing your value and your worth, that is how you become this magnet, right? Magnet. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. So this has been your reading, uh, Libra. The month of October is full of potential for you. Um, utilize it well. Go back and watch this reading again if you meet somebody. Because um, it might, if you're in a hurry or if you're feeling passionately fiery, your person, it could possibly be something that shuts your person down if you don't take it nice and slow. Your person may be looking for something more grounded, something more tangible, more committed than just fire energy. And if you resonate with being the Queen of Swords and you meet somebody in the fire energy of the Queen of Wands, um, then you need to communicate Page of Swords, right? You need to Queen of Swords, Page of Swords, you need to be completely open and honest and talk to this person about what your needs are. What are you searching for? What do you want? And how do you need it to show up for you in a way that doesn't make you want to run Knight of Swords, right? All that sword energy. All right. I love you guys. And I will see you on the next upload. If you are on my Patreons, one of my patrons, then please join me over there. Um, I'm going to try to upload them in pairs so that everybody gets both at the same time. If you're not a Patreon or patron, I don't even know how to say it. If you're not a patron and you would like to be, if this has resonated with you and you would like to follow me over there, it's $4.44 a month just for the extendeds and extra content that I upload. And if you resonate with being a twin flame or an awakened being on an ascension journey, then you may want to go for the higher tiers because I focus a lot of healing channels, um, mission work, uh, union energies, everything that, that we are going through from a quantum level on an ascension journey is focused, laser focused in those two categories. Okay. So I love you and I will see you next month. Namaste.